The Lady Epifania is a 54-foot Ta Chow built in 1979 and just completed a 2,000-mile trip up the Baja Peninsula from Zihuataneo to Morro Bay, where we're currently docked. She has a lot of very comfortable outdoor accommodations, including a fully enclosed cockpit and an aft day bed complete with cabana curtains. For this tour, I'd like to focus on what I've done to the interior to make Epifania really comfortable for our cruising adventures. When we decided to become sailors, I told my husband, David, that I didn't want to live like a savage. So I decked out the interior like a rolling gin joint so that we would have all the accommodations of a comfortable home while we were on the high seas. I outfitted Epifania with vintage furniture and made custom bar doors for the parlor. In the starboard cabin is where our crew can bunk. There are double bunk beds here. And that lee cloth dubs as a movie screen used in the aft day bed or in the cockpit or in the salon. In the forward head, you'll notice more original artwork from San Francisco and starboard countertops that I put a faux finish on. I made them look like marble countertops. I installed a copper sink that added some additional design touches. Next, you'll notice that our V-berth is probably looking a lot like yours, except for the addition of a few dozen hula hoops. The guest head is also equipped with a sunken shower. There's loads of headroom throughout Epifania. In fact, our videographer is six foot four and he rarely has to duck. We're also fortunate to have loads of storage throughout our entire boat. We have plenty of room to store lots of linens and towels in the forward head. Next, I'll take you into the port side stateroom. This has a double berth. It's a Pullman berth so that it comfortably sleeps two and a half. And you'll notice that there's a lot of artwork in the port side stateroom as well. We wanted to reflect our San Francisco style when we moved aboard. I placed frameless mirrors, updated lighting, and marble countertops in both of the staterooms uh, on the port and si starboard side. We installed a washer and dryer given to us by my parents when we moved aboard. In the galley, I did a faux finish on all of the countertops, again, so that they would look like marble. I wanted real marble, but Dave said no because it's too heavy and things break when they drop on them. Also installed mag magnetic spice racks to make additional room in the cabinets in the kitchen. We're quite foodies and we have a lot of different ingredients so that we can make Indian, Thai, Italian, and other types of cuisine. We have a pass-through bar here with a double sink, again with the faux finish. Uh, it's really handy when you're entertaining. If you look closely in the crew mess, if you look behind the curtains that I've made, you'll notice there are little tiny anchors and they hold up the porthole lights. I wanted to add a lot of details for our guests to enjoy when they come aboard. Moving aft, we enter the main stateroom that sleeps three, but only Dave and I stay back here. Um, we stay on the starboard side. On the port side, we have storage that's currently held up by a repurposed fishing net because we are still finishing up the refit on Epifania. Behind the door to the main cabin, you'll see that I hung a unique mirror and I have a set of burlesque fans because, well, you never know when you might need them. Stop on our tour today is going to be the master head where I spent a lot of time incorporating design ideas. I laid Moroccan tile, installed industrial handheld towel racks and toilet paper holders, and wait for it, wait for it, a penny floor. A girl needs a pretty place to put on her makeup.